the uniform processes, the implants will be at one level, this implant will be at another level. So even without building, they have survived for many years, even with you know, poor oral hygiene and bad occlusion. So that is what the system allows you to do, some flexibility, some mistakes also, no problem. Do Definitely in more than six, seven years. So how will you come to know? Like, okay, so, I don't know, 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 so I am planning for axial. So this is the second premolar cross section. Buckle you go close to buckle. If you go through the apex you will enter the sinus. But if you Slightly. go palatally, you can get some bone. So this is axial planning. Now we will try some mesial tilting. If I tilt mesially, I am getting little good bone. But I should not hit the adjacent implant because the adjacent implant is uh, tilted distance. So these are the challenges we face now when we do partial partial then finally it comes into full mouth. If the patient comes in the first place, we could have placed this implant like this. Right? Now, so a short implant we can place, no long implant also. Measily tilted, fully palatal. Maybe near the tip it is closer. So already four implant is there, this one implant is enough because there is no bone in the sinus otherwise I have to place implant in the telegraph which increases the problems in process construction already all implants are in different direction if we put it in one direction so it is not needed because these four implants are well and good so only one implant, decent implant and two implant here but I think they told him four implants ok <laughs> Sorry, Priya, I'm not reporting. So, I'm not reporting. I'm not reporting. I'm not reporting. I'm not reporting. Any bike race earlier, guys? Okay. The latest bike one that If somebody has the latest bike one that relaxed and drama, the left wind drama. Okay. So, whether it is conventional or basal, mm -hmm. failures will happen. Mm -hmm. But if you follow the principles of conventional and conventional or basal medicine, uh, it will get minimized. Mm -hmm. Even then, you cannot bring it to zero. That means we have to face the implant failure in our practice. So how to tell the patient? Yeah. See, yeah. RCT failure, what will you do? What you are doing? Can you manage? Can you manage the situation? Initially, you may not. You may be difficult to manage for the first two years. But after that, some skill develops. It, some management develops. It's very easy. Your assistant may get tense. The new doctor may get tense some failure. But you won't get tense. In the same way, implant failure also, there is certain protocol, certain script, certain dialogue, something you have to develop. Each and, see, when an implant gives no trouble, it is a success. Mm -hmm. No, After three months, four months, one year, the patient comes, I have no problem, doctor. It gives you happiness. It gives you only happiness. Mm -hmm. But when an implant failure comes, it gives you learning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So actually, we should pray that, doctor, please, God give me more implant failure so that I will learn better. <laughs> See, out of many learnings only, you know, uh, somebody becomes an expert in that field. So, it's a failure. It's like a great three mobility tooth. It's very easy. Sometimes patient also will come. <laughs> See, implant removal is not at all a problem. But managing the situation, no, is also not a problem. Once you know how to do it, okay. See, riding a flight uh, is easy or difficult, no? It is highly difficult, impossible for us, but for the pilot, right. it is easy. So, if you know how to deal with the implant failure, then. Mm -hmm. So, during consultation itself, uh, no, we tell this. See, implant treatment, 
like any medical treatment, there are some plus and minus of treatment. If you ask me what is the drug, what, what maximum treatment can go wrong in time, uh, the success rate is 97 to 98%, but for 1% of people, the implant may become mobile. Never use the word failure. 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 Okay. So, it is not RCT failure, it is reinfection, something you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> if a uh, periocalial failure happens, no, it is a patient non resistant to treatment. Resistant to treatment. Okay, if a file breakage happens in the olden books, it is a you know, file breakage. Uh, nowadays, it is you know, a file separation. If an ortho treatment happens, again, no, all of are coming out, it is a failure actually, but these people are telling you relax. Some decent word you have to find, so what decent word we have to find? Loosening, loosening. Loosening or mobility or disintegration. Okay, disintegration patient may not understand, but implant mobility they will understand. Mobility. But if it happens, we will solve it, no problem. It's a simple problem only, we will tell like, that's it. Simple problem only, it's not a big thing, no. Patient dying only is a big thing. Mm. If the mandible fractures, something goes, the eye goes, that is the problem. Implant failure is nothing, no risk to the life. Mm. Okay, but only thing, that is why I am telling what patients you are taking, take good patients. Who mm. understand? If you are taking all this nonsense, no, we. So, consultation is is basically an elimination process. I again I tell you. Consultation is a Primarily, it's an elimination process. And during consultation, you decide whom to eliminate from this door. Because our peace and happiness is more important uh, than uh, this kind of question. For, for one implant, I cannot know. Uh, so, Stephen and I usually used to tell, placing full mouth implant is like marrying that person for your life. <laughs> like, if you are loving somebody, anytime you can uh, know, tell Baba, Tata, Baba, you can... <laughs> Love somebody else, but marriage, one kid, no, you can't uh, go easily. See, put all the implants inside the bone, how can you go away? If you do simple RCT, he will go to some other doctor and he will pull it out and he will happily leave. Yes, a small divorce will happen between the doctor and patient, he won't come back to again. But full mouth, you cannot go to somebody else because you have paid so much. Wherever he goes, they won't touch. You are with kid, I cannot marry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big problem. So, from our cases, a proper good. <laughs> so, what, how we deal with the, uh, mobility is, the first thing is, <clears throat> see the patient becomes tense, only we when you become tense. So we should approach it with a cool way. Um, implant on the mild or disturbed. Okay. Uh, first we will check your vitamin D level. Sometimes um, this may happen due to vitamin D level. So first we will uh, give the blood test vitamin D and HDL. So uh, is less, maybe that is the reason. Nothing to worry, we will remove the implant. Uh, there are two ways we do. If it is possible to place some more implants, we place it and we tell the patient it can be solved, come one day, we will solve it and we will give the teeth, so no issues. If it is not possible to correct immediately, wait. so we have to wait for 2-3 two, two, months, we tell them 2-3 to three months, we have to wait, then we will place the implant, immediately what we do is immediately we refund the money. The moment we remove the implant, immediately we refund the money, when you are coming after 2 or 3 months, uh, you can pay at that time. So this, you know, this the patient gets, uh, otherwise the patient goes, if once you tell everything, the patient will be okay after removing the implant also. But patient will be thinking, you know, for two or three days, I am without implant, without mm -hmm. teeth, by, but my money, 40,000 is with the doctor. So after three months, you can tell, now the situation is like that, previously it was made like this, it is better to go this plan. Something you can modify the treatment also, you can tell. While placing implants, do you give any assurance or? No assurance for medication. No, no so we, are giving, see, we are not giving a warranty or guarantee, but we are taking responsibility. So, a medical professional, you should not, we should not use the word warranty, guarantee. It is against uh, legal. So, we are taking responsibility. As a medical professional, we are taking responsibility. Whatever problem comes with the implant, we will solve it without any additional charges. Additional That's it. charges. That's it. They always come to the 